Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. In this video, I'm going to create Windows 10 servicing plan. So when you create a servicing plan, your computer, I mean your environment will get the Windows update or Windows features update automatically. So here I'm in software library and under Windows 10 servicings, in my environment, I have three 1909 Windows 10, and I have four 1903 uh, Windows 10. And semi-annual channel target, I have seven. So I'm using the semi-annual ch uh, channel targets. So when I create my savings servicing plan, I make sure I choose the summer annual channel target or target it. So to create a servicing plan, you can click on create servicing plan here, or you can go to servicing plan on the left side and then create servicing plan. Let's go ahead and click it and create a servicing plan. I'm going to give it a name, it's called Windows 10 Windows 10 servicing plan for test user. You can give it anything you want here, the descriptions. Now I'm going to click uh, click next target collections so this is where the servicing plan apply to you want to make sure you choose your targeted collections if you are testing it make sure you choose the test collections let's see I'm going to choose pilot super users actually I'm going to use pilot IT departments I will add the computer later so this is collection I'm going to choose and click next. So I got the, according to the, um, the information under Windows servicing, my environments are targeted, um, semi-annual targeted. So I'm going to choose that. And if you are choosing, if you're using the semi-annual channel, then you can choose semi-annual channel. <clears throat> How many days after Microsoft has published a new upgrade would you like to wait before deploying in your environment? So zero day means it's going to update right away. And if you say two days, it's going to wait two days before it's applied the upgrade. I'm going to choose um, five days. So it's going to wait five days before it's starting the deployment. And then click next. The architect, you can choose what architect in your environment. Click on that. And if you have both 86 uh, x64, you can choose both. And since I only have x64, I'm going to choose x64 and click OK. Language, choose the language that you support in your environment. I'm going to choose English. If you have multiple languages, you can All right. So again, if I have multiple language, you can just choose um, another language here. So I'm going to choose just English only. Click OK. So now if I click on preview, I'm going to receive a lot of, um, I'm going to see a lot of uh, updates available. So if I, if I don't, um, limit the criteria it's going to download everything here to my um, network share as you can see there's 96 updates so let's go back in and choose the products categories it's going to be windows 10 version 1903 or later and if you have windows 10 18 um, 1809 you might want to choose these options too 
and if you want to do Windows inside with pre-release then you can check this box in this case I'm just going to choose Windows 10 1903 or later now I click on preview again as you can see I only have nine updates that's still a lot let's go back and let's choose the required so I'm going to require anything is greater than or equals to one so that means it's going to say hey if it's um, minimum one is require I'm going to click add if you say you want to do minimum um, require is two that mean any machines that require more that has more than two that that is require more than two devices and then you will see that otherwise if it's if the devices only um, show one that is required then you won't get that <clears throat> so I suggest you do one For the require, oh, let's go back. I lost it. Um, greater than or equals to one. Click add. This is uh, recommended. Superseded. You want to say you don't want to see superseded, so you say no, or you can just you don't have to check this box. Let's click preview. I should see less um, updates now. As you can see, I only have one update that is required in my environment, which is the uh, 1909 um, <clears throat> enable IP package. I'm going to click close. I'm going to click next. Here's you want it to um, choose the time, the client evaluation time, local time, software available time. That means it's going to available um, downloading. You can say as soon as possible or you can specify the time here and installation deadline you can say as soon as possible or you can delay seven days I'm going to set as soon as possible click next uh, user evaluation you probably get familiar, uh, familiar with this already I'm go not going to go through this um, I'm going to leave it as display server center and notification computer restart uh, maintenance windows I'm gonna leave it the way it is um, and deadline restart behavior I'm gonna leave it unchecked everything here should be good I'm gonna check this box if any updates deployment requires a restart run the update deployment in your budget cycle after restart click next here I can create a new collect, uh, package or I can use an existing package I can use an existing package just say let's use an existing one it's not required to use an existing one you can always create a new one and if you check this box it's not going to create a package it's going to download the contents from Microsoft or from the peers Click next it's going to download the software updates Click next and next again summary page you want to make sure everything here you are happy with the settings otherwise you can click previous to go back i'm going to click next and close here it is as you can see if you want to make modification you can just click on it and go to properties and you can uh, change the setting here Deployment settings, servicing plan, you can change the collection as well. Deployment rings, you can change to from targeted to regular, semi annual channel. Upgrades, here you can choose the the filters. The evaluation cycle. So these are the settings available um, that you can go back and make the change. I'm going to click cancel. And if you wanted to run it right away, you can just right click and then go to run now and if you want to disable you can just click on disable I'm going to run now so 
So that's it. That's that's how you create a servicing plan. So if you want to create for, so this is for test user, and if you want to create additional servicing plan for your pilot user, you can you have to create a new one. Um, just say if you have five different, you want to deploy five phases um, to your environment. Just say phase one, phase two, phase three. You're going to have to create um, service servicing plan for each phases. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.